Hi, my name is Grace, and I'm one of your ULAs for Econ 420 this semester. So this is the answer to practice problem number six in the macro data practice problem set. So the problem asks, uh, define the population, pop, uh, as the sum of those in the labor force and those not in the labor force. Now define the employment to population ratio, which is this fraction, as the fraction of the population that is employed. So because we know that population is equal to the labor force plus those not in the labor force, we know that this fraction is equal to in over labor force plus those not in the labor force. Now we know from class that the labor force is made up of those who are employed, which is in, and those who are unemployed, which is you. So we can set this whole fraction equal to in is equal to, or in over in plus you plus those not in the labor force. Now, the rest of the problem asks, find an analytical expression to represent how the employment to population ratio changes with an increase in the number of unemployed individuals. You may assume that the number of employed, unemployed, and those not in the labor force are independent from one another for ease of exposition. So in order to solve that, we're going to find the partial derivative of this with respect to you. So we're going to find the partial derivative of in over n plus u plus those not in the labor force with respect to u. Now I think to make this a little bit easier, it helps if we can set the top part of that derivative as n times n plus u plus those not in the labor force to the negative one. So that just means that it's on the bottom of the fraction. So you can approach this like a chain rule. Um, you are going to move this to the front. So it's going to be negative n times n plus u plus n i l f. And then subtract 1 to the negative second power times the coefficient of u, which is just 1. So that means that our final solution is b, which is negative n times u plus n plus is not in the labor force to the negative second power. 